Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make a Sloppy Joe meatloaf. So I know you guys are saying, what the heck is a Sloppy Joe meatloaf? Basically, it is a very simple meatloaf that's made with Sloppy Joe sauce added to it and on top of it when you're baking it. And it's really easy to make. This is something great if you're trying to get a kid to eat a meatloaf or heck, you know, I liked it because it has such a great taste. And it's got this tangy edge to it like if you were eating a Sloppy Joe sandwich, but you're getting a meatloaf out of the deal. And you can see there's so few ingredients here. I mean, you have eggs, the Sloppy Joe sauce, some ground beef, and you have some Italian breadcrumbs and optional seasoning. And that is all it takes to make this. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees because this is going to cook for about 55 minutes or so. So we're going to start off with two pounds of ground beef, which I'm adding seasoning to, which is optional. You don't need to use it, but it's a half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. You don't have to do that. That's really not the main ingredients in this. So now we're adding three fourths of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to add two eggs to this because you need something to bind it together basically. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this up a little bit before we add in the Sloppy Joe sauce. So I have this like meat pounder thing here, which you can get at a cheap dollar store. And I'm gonna break up the ground beef and this is gonna incorporate a few of the other ingredients and break open the egg yolks and everything while I'm getting ready before I add the sauce to it. So just mix it up a little bit, start getting it combined. And then when you get to a certain point, you can go ahead and add in the sauce. Now, when I put my Sloppy Joe sauce in, I'm literally adding anywhere from a fourth of a can to maybe a third of a can. Really, it's not a whole lot. You're just doing this to give the inside of the meatloaf some flavor. And then go ahead and mix that up because you want to get this completely combined. However, this meat chopper thing I'm using is not going to do the deal. You know I'm going to have to put my hand in this eventually. But my whole thing was I was just going to try and mix up as much as I could before I put my hand into it. So that way I could get some of the liquid absorbed into the meat and the breadcrumbs. And that way it's a little easier to deal with. But with this, um, you can use a glove if you don't want to touch this. That's fine. I washed my hands before I did this, so I didn't have trouble touching it. But it's one of these things where you really just have to get in there and push this together with your hand. So just work it with your hand, push it together, squeeze it. Um, once you get to a certain point when everything's combined together, you can actually use the palm of your hand and push down into the bowl. And that does a really good job of pushing this into a solid mix. So just keep turning this until you're completely to a point where everything is in. You've got all of the colors and everything mixed together. Because sometimes you can see there's some yellow from the egg or a little bit of the breadcrumbs or whatever on the side. You want to make sure those go all the way through. And we're doing this also to mix that sloppy joe sauce into this. Now when we get this completely mixed together, we're going to need something to bake it in. And I usually use a pan that's like a square. You can use different sizes and shapes you want as long as it holds the ground beef to some kind of a loaf shape. You really don't need a huge thing to do this. But for two pounds of ground beef, you need something that has like a loaf pan or something like that. Or just something that is not on the huge side. Because you want a little bit of height to this. But it doesn't have to be like, you know, it doesn't have to be straight up. You need to just flatten it out a little bit in your thing. So as you can see, mine is mixed together. So we're going to set this to the side, and this is the dish that I'm going to put in the oven with mine. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray because we don't want this setting up shop. We want to clean up easily. And then we're going to transfer our mix into it. Now, if you have not preheated your oven, it needs to be at at least 350 degrees. As I said, this could take anywhere from like 55 minutes to an hour. Uh, you just want to make sure along the way that you test it just to see how it's doing. You don't want to overcook this if your oven cooks particularly hot. Now, we are not putting anything on top of this yet. We're going to put this in the oven, let it bake until the last 20 minutes, and then we're going to put sloppy joe sauce on top of it and then return it to the oven for the last 20. So for now, it's going in the oven just as is. So that way this can cook up. And when it comes back from the oven, it'll look like this at the last 20 minutes. And then we're going to put the sauce over top. 
and then we're going to use something you know a spoon spatula or whatever to smooth it out now you can use as much or as little sauce on top as you want at this point i like to put a good even coating over top so that way at least the flavor is all over this and as i said once you get this done it's going to go back in for the last 20 minutes and then when it comes back from the oven we're going to bring it out and let it cool before we try to actually cut it or do anything because you can see this is mine coming back from the oven right now there's some oil in the bottom of the pan so you want to cool down a little bit before you try to remove the meatloaf or deal with it or get rid of that oil because you don't want to burn yourself but this is what mine looked like when it was done and this has the best taste because it has so much flavor because of the sloppy joe sauce up against a regular meatloaf I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.